Today I want to show you how to make these cute little crochet acorns using real acorn hats. Let's get started. The materials that we will need for making our crochet acorns are first the um, acorn hats. These ones are actually um, bigger. Um, the bigger ones, if you can find bigger ones, here's the full like acorn, but you can take the acorn out. Um, the bigger hats are a little bit better just so, you know, it's not too, um, you know, painful on your hands and stuff. Um, I am using a three millimeter uh, crochet hook. And the yarn that you can use is actually, I just have a whole bunch of scrap yarn that I've collected and any, you know, any size will work. This is like, uh, this is some cotton yarn. So what, like size four yarn. And you also need a preheated hot glue gun and some scissors. And if you want to, you can also use a stitch marker if you need, uh, if you wanna keep track of where your stitch is. And you can also fill your acorn with some fiber fill if it's a little big or if you want it um, a little sturdier. I have uh, some twins here and I want to go ahead and make the other um, acorn. So let's go ahead and work on that one. So to make our acorn, we're going to be working in the round. So we're going to first start off by doing a magic circle. Um, to do a magic circle, you're going to um, lay your yarn over your finger like so in the front. And then we're going to take the yarn and we're going to cross it over the front like this so that it's um, on the back side of where we started. And then you're gonna take your hook and you are going to hook that back yarn and pull it through like so. And then you're going to chain one and then we're going to um, single crochet four into our loop. So one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to take our tail. I'm going to take the tail of our magic circle and we're going to pull it and it closes the circle nicely so you don't have a little hole or anything like that. All right, so now we're going to, um, with this, we are not going to do um, a chain to join the round. We're just gonna keep going with single crochets. So, and if you want to, you can at this point um, insert a stitch marker if you want to. I'm not going to do that because we're not going to be doing very many um, stitches. So um, in our uh, first stitch from our previous row, uh, we're going to be putting in two single crochets into each of our previous stitches. So we will have a total of eight stitches at the end of this round. So here is, let's see, one, two,
right, this is our last stitch. So this is seven and eight. And now we're going to keep going. We're gonna keep going for our third row. And now we're just gonna switch back to single crochets. So we'll just do, so we'll have another total of eight single crochets for this third round. So one, number eight and we're just gonna keep on going in our fourth row we're gonna do another row of eight single crochets so I want to um, maybe go to round five or six I mean you can go as long as you want, but I think six is probably a good length. So we have two more rounds to go. Right, you see it's growing, it's getting there. Little guy's getting there. All right, start row round five. And we can actually take this tail and shove it <clears throat> on the inside. And you can use your hook if you need to get it in there. And I just want to look and see. Let's look and see if I want to want to see if I want to do one more row, or if stopping at five is good. Yeah, I think stopping at five is good. So we just did um, five rounds um, instead of six. You can do six, or um, you can even do less if you want to. Whichever makes you happy, pleases you. I'm going to stick with five, so I'm just going to um, pull a little bit out, take my scissors, cut, 
and I'm just going to tie it off. And this doesn't have to be a fancy knot because, or anything, it doesn't have to look pretty on the top because we're going to be covering it up with the um, acorn hat. But we're just going to knot it off just in case maybe the hat will come off. I mean, I hope it doesn't, but just in case. <laughs> so there, we'll knot it, and then we can take this end and just shove it down in there. Um, I was using these as the filler. I kind of felt like um, the polyfill might have been a little bit too much um, for this size, but you're more than welcome to put the polyfill in there if that is, uh, if you want it a little bit firmer. Then you're going to get your glue gun. Here's mine. Um, and then I have my other acorn. And what I'm going to do is, you see how inside the acorn it gives you like the, there's the center and then like that second ring. I want to put <clears throat> that much hot glue. Um, fill it with that much hot glue up until that second ring. Okay, fill that, then put your little acorn, stick it right in there, and voila, you have a crocheted acorn. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.